to your crock pot you are going to add your fibers your crock pot has already been heated up and to do this method of dyeing you are going to want to swirl your fibers into your crock pot you just keep swirling them around Once you've applied your fibers to your crock pot, you will then use a flat spoon and just gently push your fibers down into the vinegar water in your crock pot. Just gently. You don't want to stir them around a whole bunch. Now to this, I'm going to move the crock pot to get it a little closer so you'll be able to see this technique that I'm going to teach you. Let me move it in just a little closer because I'd like y'all to be able to see it straight up and down what I'm doing. Have you seen those gorgeous rovings on the internet where they actually look like they're hand painted? You can do a hand painted roving using this method. You don't physically actually have to lay out your roving and hand paint it. But with this method, you're going to have more of the white showing if that's the kind of technique that you are going for. So today we're using a combination of dyes. I'm going to be using acid dyes and I'm going to be using one food grade dye. So I'm going to open up my colors. And I'm going to use a four color process here. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start applying my colors. Make sure you all can really see what I'm doing. I'm going to add a spot of yellow. And you kind of want to keep track of what you're doing. I suggest that you always write everything down in a notebook. And that's just for you so that you know that you can actually repeat this colorway when someone would like you to. And believe me, you will. You'll have customers that actually love a certain thing that you do and you want to be able to produce it again. Now I'm going to add my orange. And you can see, I'm just gently applying it in certain areas. Okay. And I'm going to add my pink. Now this process actually takes a little bit longer to do, but boy, the colors are gorgeous. And you can see that I just keep applying the colors right on top. The pink is going right on top of the other pink, just to make sure that it's actually soaked the fibers all the way through. Now I will go in with my blue.
and you will notice that I'm not allowing these all to mix together and they're going to do their own thing inside this pot especially when this starts to exhaust I can't control what happens but you'll see that I just continue to keep adding the dye on top of the spots that I just did Now I don't know if you can see this or not, but let me try to zoom in some. Do you see how the orange is actually starting? You can tell that the heat is starting to do its magic because the orange starts to lighten and that's because the fibers are actually blowing up and sucking in all that dye coloration. So that's when you actually have to keep coming back and checking on it every 15 minutes because this is when you're going to want to add more dye on top of that specific color. Let me zoom back out so y'all can see what I'm doing again. And I like to use pipettes. I like to use syringes. And we have animals, so I give shots all the time. So I actually sterilize my syringes, not the needle part, but the actual syringe itself. And I reuse them. And I reuse them for this purpose, and it's just great. I'm going to come back in over my pink because it's looking a little light to me. And I want this to actually pop. Whenever you are working with this type of color weight, it's really important that you understand color concepts. And what I mean by that is how one color will do with the other color. Because if you don't understand it, then if you apply two colors that actually when they merge together, they create like a secondary or territory color, you may not want that and some colors just don't mix well at all so it's always good to understand the color theory and get yourself one of those pocket um, color charts or color wheel those are wonderful to have and as you can see I just keep applying the yellow on top of where I want it to be and now what I'm going to do is put the lid on it and allow it to cook and I'll come back and check it again.